those addictions. Everyone is addicted to something, right? Just like this guy we are about to see. But his addiction is not very common in this country he came to years ago. It's kinda tea. Yeah, yeah, you heard right. Tea. What kind of tea is this, you ask? It is unique to him. And his method is a little different from making instant tea. Emir is a tea addict. The first thing he does when he comes home is make tea to drink. This has been his habit for years. And he believes that his specialty takes away all of the fatigue of a day's work. Emir heads towards the kitchen to make tea as usual. But his new roommate who arrived months ago is very uncomfortable with Emir's careless attitude. Emir starts making tea without realizing yesterday's mess while his roommate sits in the back. For him, making tea is as fun and relaxing as the process of drinking tea and reliving his fatigue. And this situation, combined with the music he's listening to now, takes him on a journey to another world. As you can see, he has a different relationship with tea. He keeps them in a special containers. And he prefers to fill the tea leaves into the teapot using his hand rather than a spoon. He carefully puts the tea leaves inside. He believes that the use of spoons spoils the taste of tea. Now, all he has to do is pour water on tea leaves and wait for them to brew. However, his friend Ferhat, who he is not aware of, can no longer tolerate him. Oğlum yeter ya. Kaçtır selamsız sabahsız geliyorsun. Video zaten yorgunum işten geldi. Zaten bir çayımız var sadece. Ferhat's anger towards his friend led him to cigarettes, which are his addiction. The fact that his cigarette box was empty made him even angrier. No one had said a word to him, although he had been smoking in his new house for months. But he could not even bear the ordinary tea addiction. These people, as Rumi said, people of the world don't look at themselves, and so they blame one another. But sometimes, despite everything, some of them can realize their mistakes. At least, that's the hope, right?